can a large language model reflect on its own chain of thought? LLMs are quite impressive in terms of their capabilities. However, there are several problems that we have yet to overcome. For example, LLMs have limited knowledge contained in their neural network weights. They make errors in reasoning via their chain of thought. They hallucinate statistically plausible yet factually incorrect information. And multi-step LLM agents get stuck in unproductive loops. As a potential solution to these problems, researchers have experimented with various types of self-reflection, introspection, and self-correction. Most of these potential solutions have a few things in common. They involve LLMs using error signals from their environment as feedback, and they attempt to detect or correct errors in their own chain of thought. Hello, I'm Matthew Renzi, AI researcher, consultant, and graduate student at Johns Hopkins University. In this presentation, I'll discuss our research on self-reflection in large language models, specifically the effects of self-reflection on problem-solving performance. As humans, we have the ability to reflect on our own thoughts. This allows us to improve our problem-solving capabilities, identify errors in reasoning, and avoid repeating mistakes. LLMs don't inherently have this ability. However, they are able to produce a chain of thought, a step-by-step -step solution to a problem solely as described in text. This naturally leads to the question, can an LLM reflect on its own chain of thought like we do? More specifically, what types of self-reflections benefit LLMs in their problem-solving capabilities? Prior to our experiment, there were several studies that investigated various aspects of self-reflection in LLMs. For example, prior research demonstrated that LLMs can successfully learn from feedback. Multiple LLMs can debate the value of potential solutions to choose the best solution to a problem. There was also inconclusive evidence that LLMs may be able to self-correct their chain of thought without external feedback. And there was evidence that LLMs may or may not be able to use introspection or self-reflection to improve their performance. Our specific contribution to the existing research was to determine which types of self-reflection actually improve performance on problem-solving tasks. To answer our research question, we created an experiment involving nine large language models, nine self-reflecting agents, 10 exams from various problem domains with 100 questions randomly sampled from each exam for a total of 1,000 questions. First, we had the LLM answer the multiple choice question. It used a chain of thought to reason step by step through its solution. Second, if the LLM answered the question incorrectly, we instructed it to reflect on its incorrect solution. The LLM generated eight types of self-reflections to capture why it made the error and how to fix it. Finally, the LLM re-answered the question using each of the eight types of self-reflections. We then determined which types of self-reflection helped the LLM re-answer the question correctly. We used nine of the most popular LLMs available at the time. This included proprietary models like OpenAI's GPT-4, as well as open source models like Llama 270B. We used a set of nine self-reflecting and non-reflecting agents. This included a baseline agent with no self-reflection, six types of self-reflection utilizing various self-reflection strategies, one that combined all six types of self-reflections, and an agent without the correct answer labels redacted as an upper bound for performance. We used 10 popular multiple choice question answer benchmarks for LLMs. These MCQA benchmarks covered various problem domains, including math, science, law, and medicine. For each problem, the LLM was given a system prompt. This provided the LLM with general instructions on how to answer the multiple choice question. Next, the LLM was provided with a single example problem and example solution. This helped the LLM better understand the instructions and the expected output. Then, the LLM was provided with the problem to be solved. This included the topic, the question, and the possible answer choices. The LLM would then attempt to solve the problem. For each question that the LLM answered incorrectly, it was asked to reflect on its mistake. This included a new system prompt and a single example of a self-reflection. Then, the LLM generated a series of self-reflections grouped by type. In all cases, the correct answer labels were redacted, as shown in orange, to minimize answer leakage. For example, the agent generated an explanation of what it got wrong and why, a list of keywords corresponding to the types of errors it made, a step-by-step -step solution to the problem, an ordered list of instructions for how to solve this type of problem, and an unordered list of general advice for how to correctly answer similar problems. After each experiment run, we computed the correct answer accuracy for the agent. We also gathered additional data about the number of tokens, the total cost, and the runtime duration. 
For our analysis, we used a McNamara test to determine the statistical significance of our results. We used this test because our analysis compared two series of binary outcomes, that is, correct versus incorrect answers. The outcomes were paired question by question across both the baseline agent and each self-reflecting agent being compared. This allowed us to compare the number of discordant pairs in the two sets of pairwise outcomes. To answer our research question, we compared correct answer accuracy by agent for each of the models on all 1,000 exam questions. On screen, we have a plot of accuracy by agent type specifically for GPT-4. On the x-axis, we have each of the nine agents with their various types of self-reflections. On the y-axis, we have correct answer accuracy. As we can see, each of the self-reflecting agents outperformed the baseline non-reflecting agent. In addition, there was a clear trend indicating that accuracy increases as a function of the amount of information contained in each type of reflection. Two more items of note. First, simply informing the LLM that it answered a question incorrectly without providing any additional information was sufficient for a statistically significant increase in performance, and we'll discuss that a bit more later. Second, as expected, the unredacted agent significantly outperformed the other types of self-reflections, and this confirms that the correct answer redaction was successfully preventing direct answer leakage in the self-reflecting agents. However, it should also be noted that information-dense self-reflections may have leaked indirect information about the correct answers. It should be noted, though, that this indirect information was synthetically generated by the LLM during its self-reflection process. To further support our findings, we also compared accuracy by model and agent. For all LLMs, we saw a statistically significant increase in accuracy for all self-reflection types compared to the non-reflecting baseline. In addition, we saw a similar general trend of increasing correct answer accuracy as a function of the amount of information the self-reflection contained. Finally, we analyzed accuracy by exam and agent for each of the LLMs. As we can see, there was a similar increase in correct answer accuracy as a function of the amount of information contained in the self-reflection. However, some exams, like the LSAT Analytical Reasoning exam, were significantly more impacted by self-reflection than others. All types of self-reflection we studied improved problem-solving performance. We saw a statistically significant increase in performance regardless of the model or exam. In addition, the more information contained in a self-reflection, the greater the increase in performance. However, some of this was a result of indirect leakage of correct answers in the structure of the self-reflection text. On the other hand, simply informing the LLM that it got a previous answer wrong was sufficient to improve performance. We're not entirely certain why this is, but we hypothesize that this type of self-reflection either induces the LLM to be more diligent when answering a second time, or it nudges the LLM to choose the second most likely answer during its second attempt. However, there were several limitations to this study. First, we only evaluated self-reflection on single-step tasks. To determine the full potential of self-reflecting agents requires evaluating on complex multi-step tasks. Second, we encountered a small number of API response errors on some LLMs due to content safety filters. However, these errors typically amounted to less than 1% of the total number of API calls. Third, the top performing LLM scored above 90% accuracy for most exams. This compression of scores near 100% accuracy may have saturated our results. Finally, the LSAT analytical reasoning exam was both the most difficult and the most benefited by self-reflection. This large increase in performance on a single exam may have skewed the aggregate results across all exams. Regarding future research, first, we recommend repeating this experiment using more complex multi-step problems rather than single-step MCQA problems. Second, we should provide the agents with access to external tools to see how self-reflection impacts tool use. Third, we should provide the agents with offline memory to remember their self-reflections across episodes. Finally, we should attempt to replicate these results with more LLMs, types of self-reflection, and problem domains to provide further evidence in support of these findings. In this research study, we empirically investigated the effects of self-reflection on problem-solving performance in large language models. Our results indicate that all types of self-reflection improve problem-solving performance on multiple-choice question-answer problems. In addition, more reflection information leads to better performance. However, some of this may be due to indirect answer leakage. On the other hand, simply instructing the LLM that it answered incorrectly the first time is sufficient to improve performance in a statistically significant way. To learn more, please see our research paper in GitHub repository.